Hello there, YouTube. Um, we're here on Twitch. It's very awkward doing a, a YouTube introduction when people are watching you. Um, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how these uh, I don't know how these presenters on stage do it. To be fair, or you know, like you know, hang on a sec. You know, like cameramen. No, no, you know, like presenters who are like in front of a camera in like a in front of a big group of people, like maybe an E3, uh, an E3 event, or maybe like a, I don't know, just some, just a big event where you have to knowingly go around in front of a camera, speak loud, speak enthusiastically, and and like know that people are watching you like it's, it was like i remember one time right i was in college okay i had to do a project for college where it was like finding my way uh, getting lost going my, get, finding my way to work blah, blah 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 and like i tried doing this one scene but like because there was a camera there my brother was there i had to like i just i couldn't do it because they were just watching me and i felt so awkward i couldn't feel i didn't feel natural because i knew that once i go off camera it's it's all an act i know i know that's what acting is but it's like it's super hard to explain what i mean anyway we're watching alex kansas today um you guys know him as the the the, the monument mythos guy he does absolutely fantastic videos and honestly i don't know why this this guy isn't um bigger than he is because the arg is definitely thought out and some of the videos that he does genuinely makes you feel like they could have happened um but yeah we're gonna uh we're gonna jump in oh that was that was an awkward tra transition this is alex kansas subscribe today he does amazing stuff if you haven't seen that the, their work then go back because uh we've reacted to multiple of this guy's videos we're gonna start off with there's there's two new videos there's dead dean disaster and starry sphinx let's bloody jump into it by the way guys um will w won't be editing this video so if the, the editing is just non like there, there isn't much editing going on it's because but quite personally i, I just the, the editing spark inside me is gone and i, I don't want to spend so much time on editing videos i'd rather be doing stuff i don't i don't know it sounds selfish when i say it out loud because some people would love to the job that i want but it after a while guys what's the saying familiarity breeds content sometimes you've got to distance yourself from it to try and fall back in love with it again but yeah here we go so the the monument mythos is like um okay there's no closed captions it's like uh monuments across the world but there's like some kind of alien like i don't know parallel universe within it or something like that i feel like there's two different storylines going on uh with these videos Oh, is that what that, that was meant to be? Oh dear. It feels so genuine, like... Did this person fly over to these countries to film this, or is this like, something else? That's very Life of Brian. I got a protein shake here. I need to drink it, but I keep putting it off. <gasps> Oof. It's tangy, that. Help! Girl, what's been going on? That is a very awkward face. I will say that. Nose has been caved in. That isn't... Is that an actual... What? Did you guys know that the pyramids of Giza... Is that is that where it is? Giza, um, I think. The pyramids line up perfectly, I think, with Orion's belt or something like that. Mathematic. There's something in it, like the mathematical where like the way they're placed is in line with like Orion's belt. There's a conspiracy theory that aliens helped build uh, the pyramids or something like that. Or maybe they came before, um, you know, pre-ancient civilization. 
I don't know what to believe, eh? I'm just a ginger, eh? We don't get to have thoughts. We do. We do. That was a joke. It wasn't even a joke. It was awful. What is that? Oh, God, they... Okay. Talking to the moon. Look, it's a freaking walking star. What? Oh, that's what it meant by starry sphinx. See that there's some, there's definitely something in there with the whole um, uh, what's it called? That was May 2021. Oh, okay, there's definitely something in there with like a rhymed bout or whatever. Right, let's move on to Dean Disaster. There was a video before where basically um, uh, what's his name? What's this guy's name again? James Dean became president of the United States in this universe. I've already watched Local 58, Booty Hole. The story of America's worst TV hijacking. Now this, see this, this guy does things that genuinely could happen and it, it, they do it in such a way where it feels real. During a broadcast of ABC Evening News, yeah. anchor Frank Reynolds told viewers to be prepared for tomorrow oh and that they would witness the start of a glorious adventure. Oh no. Word spread quickly throughout the country and civilians invited friends and family to their homes in anticipation of the next day. Hang on, there wasn't this there was something similar to this in another video. Or is this gonna be in an alternative reality to the alternative reality? Mate, this is this is like onions right now there's a lot of Although layers to this no details of this because i think in the previous one they they said the same thing and then it was james dean like on the tv basically i don't know for how long but saying he was going to run for president Glorious adventure were known it was widely presumed to be another exciting tv announcement from president james dean. oh he's already the president Watching got parties got were you. organized in living rooms across america and on the evening of may 13th 1969 after the abc evening news ended Televisions were closely watched with millions of unblinking eyes. No. Back then, man, you could, you could, could you, like that. If you wanted to send a message, like there would be so many people watching the TV. And nowadays, it's hard because there's so many different devices, so many different channels, so many different services. It's hard to get everyone in one place. No one wanted to miss what President Dean had to say. Jesus Christ, man, he's. James Dean's America is hell. But you still don't believe us. Nah. You'll hear the truth. From James Dean himself. Oh god, Jamesy boy! Didn't James... Oh my god, James Dean's the devil. Immediately following the broadcast, Air Raid Siren. By the way, guys, on YouTube, let me know what you think of like if you like if you prefer like um, less editing or st stuff. Because Will does a fantastic job editing; they're absolutely amazing. He's managed to edit in such a way where it matches my personality, right? But I feel like at times, because he's taking a break now. And I feel like when that happens, I'm going to revert... Like, because I used to edit shit tons. But now, like, the SPAC's gone. I can't really, like, get the motivation to do it anymore. So I kind of go the XQC route. I can't, XQC's editors. I mean, that, unless it's GTA roleplay where they get different perspectives of whatever's going on. They don't really edit, do they? It's not much of an edit. Let's be honest. Hey? Eh? But they do a fantastic job with the GTA roleplay stuff. But, um, yeah, because Will's taking a break... It's going to be less editing, but just let me know what you think. I mean, because my old videos, like my videos before this were kind of like this. I'll just literally leave it kind of uncut, maybe a few zooms, but Sirens yeah. activated across all 50 states. The sirens blared at a far greater volume than usual and burst the eardrums of every civilian within a four mile radius. Well, that's good. The resulting panic triggered severe overcrowding at bomb shelters and deadly stampedes in the streets. Holy crap. Thousands were trampled and hospitals were overwhelmed within Jesus. the hour. Oh my Fires god. Fires broke out in all major cities. 
and cars left running in the streets produced lethal amounts of carbon monoxide, which flowed into poorly ventilated bomb shelters oh and suburban God. homes. Oh my God! In Washington, this is like the the uh, the Suez Canal crab, where like it was like toxic stuff in there, and it just created like this freaking crater of like radioactivity. In D.C., the White House was placed into lockdown immediately after the TV hijacking and President Dean was rushed to a maximum security underground bunker. Uh-oh, no one's Able gonna like to you, James. Able anguished screams of civilians in the streets above, Dean refused to stay in the shelter. When carbon monoxide alarms went off in the bunker, he urged his staff to exit the White House with him and shut off the vehicles left on the roadways. Damn. With a phone call, Dean mobilized the National Guard to assist with the deactivation of the millions of parked vehicles across America. Several more phone calls to high-ranking military officials and world leaders revealed that no nuclear missiles had in fact been launched. President Dean soon realized that the air raid sirens had been so hijacked. So wait, what, did, I, I kind of wasn't really, well I was kind of paying attention, so like, there was a, there was a announcement on the TV that said James Dean's America is hell, and then from that broadcast, a, a, a siren when the, the, they activated the sirens which bursted eardrums oh i guess it's the the sound of the sirens kind of made everyone think there was a nuclear attack Got by you. a domestic organization and immediately ordered all forces of the military to disable every active siren in the nation damn when military technicians arrived at the location of the sirens they found that the bodies of prior technicians who had perished from the combination of stress and the sirens sheer volume piled so high as to have formed a ramp to the top of the speakers. Holy crap. The overcrowding of World War Z by civilians in unaccompanied cars frequently. Man, look at this. This edit, man. This is an actual photo. This is freaking insane. We blocked the path of emergency vehicles and prolonged the process of disarming the sirens. Against his advisor's wishes, President Dean tasked himself with the deactivation of an air siren near the White House. Although he would accomplish the task fairly quickly, Dean sustained permanent ear damage and was rendered fully deaf. <laughs> the sheer volume had oh, also I don't know caused countless blood vessels in his body to burst and produce- What is going on with the woman? It's like, like, you know when you can tell when someone's smiling as they're talking? Listen, you can, she's smiling while saying this. And was rendered fully deaf. The sheer volume had also caused countless blood vessels in his body to burst. And you know what I mean? She's smiling while she's saying this. Abdominal this is so weird. His condition was shared among the millions of other Americans who had been near the sirens at the time of their activation. Three hours would pass before all air raid sirens would be fully disabled. Damn. The next morning, at the advice of federal authorities, Civilians slowly made their way from the shelters back to their homes. Although some continued to stay in the shelters for fear of radioactive fallout, most accepted the explanation given by military officials over the radio. There is no nuclear holocaust. A domestic terrorist organization hijacked the sirens of America. The streets were littered with bodies and automobiles. The National Guard handed out blindfolds to the young, sick, and elderly as they exited the shelters to prevent the scenes of bloodshed from causing fainting spells. Oh, right. I thought that was going to go for, like, the bird box and heart theme attacks. here. Uh, thank you for the bit, save frame. Welcome, everybody, by the way. I'm not ignoring you guys. I'm just uh, I'm concentrating on the video. Is all. At the Walt Disney Medical Center, physicians examined President Dean and other members of his staff who helped disarm the sirens. All were diagnosed with severe hearing loss. Oh, no. Against his doctor's Look advice. Look at that Photoshop. You can tell that's John F. Kennedy, right? Dean insisted. But with just James Dean's face Photoshop. On issuing a public statement on the traumatic events that had transpired. Although he initially wanted what to is appear that? on live television, a glance at the mirror discouraged him as he saw the countless bruises and tears present on his skin oh. due to the intensity of the sirens. Oh, man. In coordination with technicians from the Department of Defense, President Dean instead organized a large-scale radio broadcast, utilizing the very air raid sirens they had disabled. Later that Damn. night, 
a bruised Frank Reynolds would announce on ABC Evening News that Dean would speak through the sirens and that captions would be displayed simultaneously on television for viewers who were hard of hearing. And this is how subtitles came about. Like that, or like that. Hey, man, brother. It's Jimmy speaking. Hey, Jimmy. I am sorry, very sorry for what's come to pass. I wish, I wish I could bring back your friends, your family. Yeah, it's a great idea to uh to 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 broadcast this this thing through the very thing that deafens millions of people. Dean. They hijack our systems. They uh, hurt people. The Anti Dean Association is an anti American association. I want you to keep an eye out for them. They will not be hard to find because they are very proud of their silly ideas. Don't we? Find them and bring them to your local authorities. We'll make things right. We have places for people like them. This is Jimmy signing off. Hey man, Jimmy. Okay. Over the next week, hundreds of thousands of anti deaners would be apprehended and sent to correctional facilities around the United States. These facilities, meant for the anti American, were aptly located near or at national monuments in order to symbolize a return to American virtues. Most would stay for merely a few weeks before being released again. Friends and family of rehabilitated anti deaners frequently claimed that they would have improved personalities, no recollection of their past criminal activities, and even slightly altered physical appearances. What? These methods were so effective in calming the terrorist that many innocent civilians requested themselves to be sent to these facilities in wow. hopes of radically changing their lives. However, federal authorities would deny any admission to those who were not affiliated with the ADA. During one address, President Dean acknowledged the high volume of requests from the public. High volume. Is that Jimmy. A lot of you won't be sent to the same places we're sending those anti deaners to. Uh, I get it. Those who come out of these places. Yeah, but they're like, they must be brainwashing them or something. Uh, but if we send you to those places too, then those correctional facilities lose their purpose. If we send everyone to prison, then what's the prison? Do you really had to do the 30... Mate, the, the, the intro to your speech was longer than your speech. This is Jimmy signing off. Oh, my God. On the morning of May 22nd, nine days after the disaster, President Dean received a state-of-the-art hearing implant from Maze Machines, an up-and-coming tech company. Around noon at the Walt Disney Medical Center, the device was surgically inserted into Dean. The sound quality of the implant and the speedy nature of the surgery inspired Dean to imagine a new government department, which would be able to oversee the mass production and distribution of quality hearing implants to the American public. How big were these implants? That evening, President Dean requested an emergency session everything of everything back Congress in these days, the ambitious project. Everything back in these days was just so big. Is that Bill Clinton? I can't hear a damn thing. Did Why has this guy got no face in the background? I can't hear it. 
these damn things. Neither can you, or you, or you, or you. It doesn't matter whether you are near the sirens or not. None of you are listening. Lol. We need to bring... Well, good, good job reminding together them. ...together those technology companies to build and send hearing devices that the public needs. Hearing devices that you yourself need. Ah, profit. This is America. America's a business, okay? And through a collaboration... Nothing's free in America. Not even your freedom. Department of Health. We can give back to the people where our failures took away. We can let a mother hear her child laugh again. And let a man hear his dog again. We can give everyone their hearing again. Wait, so not everyone's deaf? Why are you talking? Why are you still talking? Listen to the public. You're all about deadlines too. So here's one. July 4th. By July 4th. I want every American to hear the fireworks. Amen, brother. Amen. Due to a malfunction in his auditory implants, Dean was unable to hear himself and as a result spoke much louder on the Senate floor than on previous occasions. The volume of his speech, which greatly amplified his compassion for the American people, profoundly affected the senators. And in the early hours of May 23, 1969, after 10 hours of discussion, the Department of Technology was approved. What? It was the fastest an executive department had ever been established. By May 27th, all persons with hearing loss attributed to the anti-Dean disaster would be eligible for the surgical implantation of a hearing device. Surgical implantation. So Masks, it's surgical. So they have to cut open something. Operating rooms would be established throughout the U.S able to house over a thousand Mate, that, patients this is dodgy. at once. The use of surgical androids was approved on June 6, which increased the number of surgeries performed per day over 250 percent. Once all victims had been treated, those with deafness unrelated to the disaster also became eligible for the surgery. Wow. Helen Keller. On July 4th, it was announced that there was no incidence of severe hearing loss in the country. The United States was the first nation in the world to eradicate deafness. Damn. The achievement had been expected for some time since its first mention during Dean's congressional address. In preparation, many health organizations, both domestic and international, had prepared to host banquets for Dean and grant awards to him and his staff. However, Why to him? He's not the one making the stuff. President Dean spent the entirety of Independence Day racing cars with close friend Richard Nixon at a local speedway. And he died. Though many would cite the recovery from the anti-Dean disaster as James Dean's finest hour, the president was never willing to accept responsibility. All we did was fix some ears. <laughs> All we did was fix some ears. Nothing bad, nothing... Is that it? Okay, interesting. Alex Katanas. Very good. Honestly, the uh, the stories that are told, I mean, I guess they're a little far-fetched, obviously. But they're told in such a way where you think it could be believable. It's, it's ridiculous. So, Alex, if you're watching, you're not watching. Keep up the good work, man. Keep up the good work.